Hi friends! I wanted to make this quick video to share a little bit of information with you about my new job at QKids, being an online ESL teacher to kids from China. All the kids are ages 4 through 12 and you work remotely from home. I'm in my home office right now. Um, I received a few messages and comments from people thinking about maybe getting a job in this industry or asking more questions. So I just am going to try and hit a few pointers, give the basics, and if you have any more questions, please call me. I'm happy to be a resource for you. So we're going to go over three topics. First topic is requirements. What do they require? Second is the hiring process. And third will be how to teach how do you teach the kids? And obviously, before all of that, let's talk pay. So the pay is $20 an hour, which is pretty good if you're looking for flexible remote work from home. Uh, a lot of the other companies, some pay less, some pay more, but I felt like QKids was the best bang for your buck. So let's get that out there first, 20 bucks an hour. Okay, now, the requirements. So the minimum requirement is that you have a bachelor's degree. It does not have to be teaching specific. It can be in any field, but you have to have a bachelor's degree. Second requirement is a headset, a mouse, and a stable internet connection, computer with a webcam, all of that pretty easy. Everyone pretty much has all of those things already. Obviously you might not have had a headset, but I can link you this one from Amazon. I think it was $30 and, you know, kind of fashionable, kind of cute, but also gets the job done. Uh, and last requirement is that you have to work a minimum of six hours a week. You can make those six hours. You could do them all in two days. If you wanted to do Friday morning, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday night, so you could do it just on the weekends. Um, or you could do every morning uh, for a few hours, whatever, however you want to do it, six hours minimum a week. I'm working two hours every morning, six days a week, comes out to be about 12 hours. And I think that comes out to be around $1,000 a month, extra spending income for your family. Okay, hiring process. So first up, you're going to have an interview with a hiring coach. They just want to hear you talk, get to know you. It's pretty informal. You don't need to prepare too much. I'd recommend having a headset prior to talking with her. I did not. Kind of looked back, wish I had one at that time because you're going to need to get one anyways. But it's a really just conversational interview. After that, you're going to have two interviews that are demo classes. So you're going to log into their platform. You're going to see the 10 to 13 sections of a lesson plan. You're going to practice going through each lesson. So you're prepared. So when you have that demo interview, you are prepared to teach a class. It's really, don't worry too much about that. I didn't have any teaching experience and I practiced. And my coach would tell me to go through each section and then she'd pretend to be the student, and then stop, give me feedback, and then I would apply that feedback, and so on. If you're just taking what they're telling you and applying it, you should have no problem um, getting through that process. Also, bonus, they pay you for your time during the demo interviews. So you're getting the normal rate of $8 a class during the demo interview period, which I really appreciated. I thought it was a nice gesture um, from the start that they're saying thank you for your time. After the demo interviews, you move on to the trial classes. So you're going to have between two to five trial classes. These are real classes with real kids. Also, you're getting paid for your time throughout the trial class period. So this is where somebody's going to be watching you uh, teach the class with the real kids. After the class, you're going to get a bunch of feedback on things to improve. Take the feedback, apply it to the next class, and so on. I had four classes um, before I then was approved to be on my own. They set me free. 
And now this is my first full week of full classes all on my own. So I'm kind of fresh. I'm new at this. Um, so if I make any mistakes, we'll correct them later. Um, okay. Third section I said I'd cover is how to teach. So the thing that's great about QKids is that they have a game-based platform. So it's almost like an interactive software system where you log in, um, you'll see the vocab words for the day that you're working on. Pretty much the first few lessons are going to be covering those vocab words. After that, you go into playing the games with the kids. There's games like um, hide and seek, bingo, a matching game, just a bunch of different games. Some are group play, some are put the student on the stage and one by one test each student. So it's really fun. It's really interactive. It's not like a slideshow. It's not PowerPoint. It's an interactive game-based platform. You have between one to four students per class. Some other companies, I think VIP Kid, they are one-on-one. So it's only you and one other student. Some people say they like that. I personally like having more than one student. Here's why. Because sometimes one student will be really shy and not confident and not ready to talk yet or try those new vocabulary words. But there's always one very chatty, very confident kid in the class who will point out the answer or start giving clues or being very chatty, which then signals to the other kid, um what they should be saying. So they help each other out as much as I help all of them. So I think it makes our jobs more fun and a little bit easier having the other students to help build the other maybe less confident student build his confidence up. So I like that. Also, the lessons are in 30-minute windows. So Uh, If you teach one hour of classes, that's uh, two lessons, so two separate classes with two separate sets of students. And uh, I feel like the platform, you go through each section. There's like usually 10 to 13 sections. You spend about two minutes in each section, and it's a steady pace. And honestly, I just got started. Like I said, I'm new at this, and I pretty much am almost finish with the lesson when I'm supposed to be finished. So it flows very nicely. There's a lot to do. You don't get stuck. Like I was worried, what if I'm stuck on a lesson and I've run out of questions to ask the kids and I still have, you know, five to 10 minutes left. That hasn't happened for me yet. And I think it's because QKids does a great job with their software system and making everything flow really nicely. So Like I said, I'm new at this, but I'm really happy I found this platform. I work uh, 5.40 in the morning, so I wake up early, and I work until 8.10. So I have the rest of the day to myself. I'm currently interning at a pediatric therapy services center, so I do that in the afternoon twice a week. So this is just a way to supplement that income if maybe you're at an in-between in your career path, you're maybe thinking of making a change, but you don't want to give up some extra income. I get it. That's what landed me here. I never thought I'd be a teacher, but now that I'm here with the kids, I really like it and I'm having a lot of fun and I'm even considering maybe taking this experience and then taking it and turning it into a teaching career. Um, full-time in a classroom. I'm not really sure, but that's where I'm at, and that's why this job is perfect for me. So if you have any more questions, message, call me, uh, comment. I'm happy to answer them and be a resource for you. So I hope you found this helpful. Hope I didn't go off on too many tangents.